In this question, we have a report for work, the report 107 pages long. You need to print 14 copies for a meeting next week. How much is the paper going to cost? Okay, so we need the total pages needed or printed. So we have 107 in each, and there's 14 of them. So 107 times 14. One four nine eight. Okay. Now it doesn't say double or single sided, so we're just going to assume that that's just the number of pages you need right there. Uh, how much is going to cost? So, and that's only for the paper, only for the paper you use. Partial reams are okay. So. There's very, it's very unlikely. In fact, I can already tell it won't take exactly uh, a multiple of 500. We're super close to a multiple of 500, um, but not quite. So let's start with the pages. There's the pages you need to print. Um, now we have 500 pages cost 3.62. Uh, dollars each. So what I want to do is write this dollars. All right, so how did I know to put dollars on the top? Well, the quick answer is, or the way I think about it, you have pages here and I want to cancel that. So I divided by pages so that they're going to cancel out. And what we're gonna be left with is just the units in dollars. Now, why did I write dollars like that and not that? Because I just wanted to write it in the way we usually write units, the very end, to put the dollar sign on front so it looks normal. Okay, 1498 times pages cancel. I'll just write dollars at the end. <clears throat> Okay, so let's go ahead and do this multiplication. Uh, you're gonna multiply the numerators and then divide by the 500. So it's 1498 times 3.62. 3 it's already in my calculator, times 3.62. There we go. And the second thing was divide by 500. And so it's 10.8455. Why am I crossing my L's? Dollars, okay. Now, near a cent, so I wanna to round to this digit here. Uh, does that go to up or does it stay? Well, we have the next digit, so five, so it's eight, five. And we'll put the dollar sign at the front, like most people would. There we go, 1085. All right, 